Good morning, Internet. Welcome to morning prayer. Um, as you can see, I'm back in my office this morning because the food bank is open on Mondays and I'm working today, unlike last Monday. So I'm here in my office, which is um, a good feeling. So today we are going to try something a little different for this week, and I'm a little nervous about it. We'll see how it goes. Um, one of the things that I've been uh, I've, I've been doing a lot of studying with the Psalms and, and, and using them in devotions in different ways. And one of the, uh, one of the things about the Psalms is that they are songs and that they're songs in another language. So you can't just sing them the way we would normally sing music, um, it's not obvious to us how how to sing them. So Christians have come up with a few different ways. Uh, one way is to chant them, which is an interesting exercise all on its own. And another is to uh, reword them into songs that you can sing, that, that rhyme and fit to a meter. And there's a tradition of of turning, uh, shaping the Psalms into meters so that you can sing them. They're called metrical psalters. And I discovered one a couple of months ago, and I've been using it for a couple of different things. And so what we're going to do today in adoration is we're actually going to um, sing one of the Psalms. And so I have audio that'll play for you, and you can um, sing along. Um, and I, this is an experiment. I, I find it can be meaningful at times to pray the Psalms, and we'll see how this works. But other than that, uh, everything else will be, oh, actually, it just occurred to me, I was going to do our Thanksgiving Psalms, our uh, Thanksgiving um, out of a book. And I did not bring that book with me. Let me see if I have that copied in my uh, computer real quick. Sorry for the delay. Um, as you can tell, I... Uh, oh, I do have it. I do have it here. My computer will take me to it. Okay. So, um, we're, uh, we're going to use a... Uh, a book that um, has a list of Thanksgivings, and um, that's how we'll do it. So anyway, um, let's let's uh, go into our prayers, and um, thank you for joining me as we pray together. All right, our call to worship this morning is from uh, for this week is from Psalm fifty-one. Open my lips, Lord, and my mouth will declare your praise. Dear Father, we thank you that you are good and that you are in control. And Father, we ask that you would help us to pray this morning. Show us, um, show us your goodness. Show us your, uh, your nature, your presence. Father, we ask that you would open our hearts to you so that we can be honest with what is in our hearts, with the burdens that we're carrying, we pray that you would speak in ways that we can hear, make us able to hear you as you respond to our concerns, as you speak hope and comfort to us. We pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. All right. Our psalm for today is Psalm 48. And this is not a translation you would find in a Bible. This is a translation from a website called psalms.seedbed.com. There's a link in the description. You can also get the piano music that you're about to hear. So I'm going to let the melody play through once, and then we will begin singing. <laughs> Most worthy of praise, 
On his holy mountain his city praised Its beauty in loftiness, joy of the earth Mount Zion, the city whose king gives it worth. For God is in her, he shows himself strong. When kings join their ranks at Bensin along, they saw her astounded in terror, they fled, for trembling had seized them like labor pain dread. You smote them like ships of Tarshish destroyed, which scattered by wind could not be deployed. As we've heard, so we've seen the city of God. She is made secure by the Almighty Lord. When we come into your temple, O God, we meditate on your unfailing love. Like your name, O God, your praise through earth resounds. Your right hand with righteousness greatly abounds. Mount Zion does sing the villages too. They're glad because all your judgments are true. Go walk around Zion, her citadels count. Go round her and wonder at God's holy mount. Consider most well her ramparts and towers, so that you may tell your children her power. For this God's our God and forever will be our guide to the end, ever faithful is he. Amen. Dear Father, you are faithful and you are good, and we thank you that you uh, have the power to triumph over every enemy, over every um, form of opposition, over everything that opposes your will. And Father, you give us the opportunity to be on your side. We thank you. We adore you for who you are. We pray that you would help us to be on your side and to choose your side every day. In Jesus' name, amen. Our commands today come from Micah chapter 6, verse 8. He has shown you, O mortal, what is good. And what does the Lord require of you? To act justly and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with your God. Dear Father, we confess that we have sinned against you in our thoughts, our words, and our deeds by what we have done and by what we have left undone. We have not loved our neighbors as ourselves. We have not loved you with our whole hearts. We are truly sorry and we humbly repent. Father, we ask that you would have mercy on us. We ask that you would show the compassion that we know you have, that you would forgive us and you would mold us and change us into the image of your Son. Make us into people who fulfill your will, people who do what you want us to do so that your kingdom can reign on this earth. Please take a moment in confession and reflection. Hear the words of God to those who truly repent and seek the name of Jesus. If my people, who are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray, and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven, and I will forgive their sin, and will heal their land. 
dear Father, your church is the people who are called by your name. And we, uh, we confess and we repent before you and we do so with hope, knowing that you have promised to forgive your people. Father, we thank you that your Son is the source of our hope, is the guarantee of our hope. We ask that you would continue to work in us, continue to transform us. Thank you for the hope that we have. In Jesus' name, amen. So this week, what we're going to do for Thanksgiving is what's called a litany, where I will read through um, a, a prayer, and after each section of the prayer, uh, the congregation responds with a phrase. And in this case, that phrase is, we praise you, O God. And so I will um, read each section, pause, and then say, we praise you, O God. And you can say that part with me. And that's how we will do our litany of thanksgiving this week. So let us give thanks to God. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, from whom comes every good and perfect gift, we call to remembrance your loving kindness and your tender mercies, which have been ever of old, and with grateful hearts we lift up to you the voice of our thanksgiving. For the life you have given us and the world in which we live, we praise you, O God. For the work we are unable to do and the tr for the work we are able to do, for the truth we are permitted to learn, for whatever good there is that has been put in our I'm sorry. <laughs> I need to zoom in. For the work we are able to do and the truths we are permitted to learn, for whatever good there is has been put in our past lives and for all the hopes and aspirations which lead us toward better things. We praise you, O oh God. For all the comforts and gladness of life, for our homes and our home blessings, for our friends and the pure pleasures of social life, for the love, sympathy, and goodwill of others. We praise you, O oh Lord. For the gift of your Son, Jesus Christ, and the helps and hopes which are ours, as his disciples, for the presence and inspiration of your Holy Spirit, and for all the ministers of your truth and grace. We praise you, O God. For communion with you, the Father of our spirits, for the light and peace which are gained through trust and obedience, and the disquiet which befalls us when we disobey your laws and follow our own desires and passions. We praise you, O God. For this discipline of life, for the tasks and trials by which we are trained to be patient, trained to patience, self-knowledge, and self-conquest, and brought into close sympathy with our suffering brethren, for troubles which have lifted us nearer to you and drawn us into deeper fellowship with Jesus Christ. We praise you, O God. For the sacred and tender ties which bind us to the unseen world, for the faith which dispels the shadows of earth and fills the saddest and last moments of life with light of an immortal hope. We praise you, O God. O God of all grace and love, we have praised you with our lips. Grant that we may also praise you with consecrated and faithful lives. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Join me now in the Lord's Prayer. Oh, I'm sorry. Wow. Sorry about the issue with the slides. And now, Father, we come before you um, with our petitions, with the burdens on our heart, and we ask you to intervene in our world. Father, we pray uh, that you would hear our prayers and would 
respond to them according to your goodwill. I ask you to pray for those who suffer a physical illness or injury. I ask you to pray for those who are awaiting treatment or surgery. Ask your prayers for those with chronic illness or pain. I ask your prayers for those who suffer from mental illness. Ask your prayers for those who have received a terminal diagnosis. Ask your prayers for the poor, the hungry, the homeless, and the unemployed. Ask your prayers for prisoners, exiles, refugees, and migrants. Please join me in the Lord's Prayer. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And do not lead us into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. For yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Our benediction comes from Psalm 121. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going both now and forevermore. Amen. Thank you for joining us this morning. And uh, I pray that your day will be blessed, that you will go in the knowledge and power of the Lord Jesus Christ. Um, We have our um, weekly um, Deleted Scenes broadcast this afternoon at 3, and then we'll be back here tomorrow morning for our next prayers.
with fixed slides. Um, so thank you so much for uh, praying with us and um, stay healthy, stay hopeful. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord.